Okay, good evening everyone. We call to order City of Douglas Mayor <coughs> Commission regular meeting for the evening of September 28th, 2015. Welcome everyone to tonight's meeting. Uh, at this time, I have an honor and privilege of uh, in inviting uh, Father John Cummings to come to our invocation. Uh, he's the pastor at the Anglican Church over here and uh, new to our community. So, Father, welcome and we're glad to have you in our community and thanks for coming and sharing with us this afternoon. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you to the council members. Um, I don't believe in coincidences, but I do believe in God incidences. And uh, when the mayor called me, I realized that this week, a year ago, my family moved, was called here to St. Andrew's Anglican Church, and I became the rector of St. Andrew's one year ago this week. And it is a privilege. And I mean that with my heart as, an, as a homeowner now in Douglas, being, having the privilege to come and be a part of this city and to lead us in prayer. So with that, would you please bow your heads so that we may pray. Dear Almighty and ever-living Father, thank you on behalf of all who are gathered here today. Thank you so much for your many and abundant blessings. Thank you for life in the city of Douglas. Thank you for provision, for sustenance, and for friendship. Thank you for the blessing to be involved in useful work and for the honor of bearing appropriate responsibilities. Thank you as well for the freedom to embrace you. Thank you for loving us from your boundless and gracious nature. In the Holy Scriptures, you said that citizens ought to obey the governing authorities since you have established those very authorities <coughs> to promote peace, order, and justice. And so I pray for our honorable mayor, James Dennis, for the various levels of city officials, and in particular, for this assembled council. I'm asking that you would graciously grant them wisdom to govern, even though at times there may be conflicting interests or issues of our times a sense of welfare and true needs of our people, a thirst for justice and righteousness, confidence in what is good, right, and fitting, the ability to work together in harmony, especially if there's honest disagreement, and personal peace in their lives and joy in their task. I pray for the agenda set before them today. Please give them all an assurance of what would please you and what would benefit those who live and work in and around our beloved city of Douglas. It is in your most blessed name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, you so Father. Much. Thank you for coming and sharing. And again, we welcome you to Douglas. And uh, you. Now, I think we have a new member of your family that may be coming in soon. Uh, uh, yes, well, my daughter and grandson uh, flew in from Germany. Uh, and our, our son-in-law will be uh, getting out of the Army and coming and joining the city of Douglas on October 16th. Great. Well, we're, we welcome them to our community and, you. and you as well. Thank you very much. Uh, if you would please stand with me. We'll have our Pledge of Allegiance led by Lieutenant Junior Grade Ortiz from our, our Coffee County Navy Junior ROTC program. Thank you, Lieutenant Craig, Jean Ortiz. She's uh, been very faithful about coming and leading our pledge, and we really appreciate her coming and taking her time to come do that and be with us and uh, adding to our, our meeting. Uh, first order of business tonight is to approve the minutes of the September 14th work session and regular session meetings as corrected in the work session. Is there a motion to do so? Make a motion. Make a motion. Mayor Pro Tem has made a motion. Commissioner Joseph, you second the motion? Second it, yeah. Commissioner Joseph, second the motion. Is there any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 All opposed? The motion carried. Our minutes are approved. Our next item is to approve the order agenda as printed before you and as discussed in the work session is our motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Mr. Swain has made the motion. Commissioner Moore seconded the motion. Is there any discussion on the motion? 
All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next item of business is something that we're very proud and honored to do tonight, and that is to uh, swear in a couple of new police officers to our police force, uh, and welcome them to our city family and, and our police department. So at this time, I'll call on uh, Bart McCullough to uh, be the master of ceremonies, and we will swear in our new police officers. Oh. As all of y'all know in the days climbing, it's sort of hard to get people that really want to do our job, do law enforcement work, period. Uh, and these two gentlemen here, they answered the call to come serve this community as law enforcement officers. <coughs> they just got through uh, with 11 weeks of training at the Regional Police Academy in ABAC. Whenever they started out their class, uh, they had like 54 students. Whenever it comes time to graduate, it didn't have but about 25. So that's uh, a little bit over 50% failure rate. Uh, these two gentlemen uh, have done an outstanding job at the academy, and we look forward to having a long service with them here at the police department. To my left, Jeffrey Rollerson. He's born, born and raised here. Uh, he's accompanied by his mother and father, Laura and Wayne. Uh, we're glad to have him here today. Jeffrey was awarded the class flag for his class. Uh, what that symbolizes is one just one. an overall outstanding performance all the way through the academy, all the way around. He was awarded one person in the class, uh, and he was a recipient of it. Uh, so we applaud him for that. Thank you. It was a good, outstanding accomplishment. <clears throat> My right, Christopher Youngblood. He also went through the academy. Uh, they graduated on October 18th. He's accompanied by his wife, Stephanie. They got a little bun in the oven over there that's inspected on October 25th. So we congratulate them on that and wish the best uh, with that child, birth of that child. And I'll turn it over to you, Mary. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, please raise your right hand. That I will, that I will well, truly, discharge the duties of police officers the city of Douglas, and that I will faithfully perform and discharge duties of my position, conscientiously, and without malice, or partiality, to the best of my ability. I do further swear or affirm that I am not the holder of any public monies due this state unaccounted for. And I am not the holder of any office of trust under the United States, nor of the several states, or any of the foreign states. And I am otherwise qualified to hold said office to which I am appointed. And for so long, for so long as I am employed with the City of Douglas, Police Department, according to the Constitution and laws of Georgia, I will support the Constitution of the United States and of this state. I do further swear or affirm to obey, to adhere to, to adhere to. To uphold, to uphold and to enforce the laws, to enforce the laws of the United States of America, the United States of America, and of the state of Georgia, the state of Georgia, and at all times, at all times, to further swear, to further swear that I will bear faith, that I will bear faith and allegiance to the governor of the state of Georgia, to the governor of the state of Georgia, to legal authority, to legal authority appointed over me, <coughs> by the city of Douglas, and the officers appointed over me, the officers appointed over me. According to law, the word is law. So, yeah, we got to do it. So, we got to do it. We got to do it. appreciate um, these two young men becoming part of our department and willing to serve our community 
and we look forward to a long, distinguished career, career for both of you. Uh, thank you to the families for your support and allowing them to come be a part of our team. And uh, we uh, know that you supported them in their uh, duties up to this point, and we fully expect that you will continue supporting them, and they will serve our community well. So we're very excited to have them as part of our Douglas Police Department. Thanks. Excuse me. Okay, we need it. We don't get it. Family, you want to come up and participate with us, please? No, sorry, you're fine. Ma'am, do two rows. Yes, that's it. Yeah, that's a big old fun line. Oh, I don't know why I'm so Thank you. Thank you. Let's welcome to our. I saw a baby face, real Lombard fellow, when I did him. It showed him I just picked it up, so I was just putting it on. We're always excited about having new members coming to our, our department, especially out of the police department. You know, so you know how well they serve our community. So we're done. Thanks, thanks to them for making that commitment. WDTV 13. Programming is sponsored by Harper and Company Builders, serving Douglas and Coffee County for 29 years. Fletcher Oil Company, since 1966, has been supporting local activities and a proud sponsor of community programming on WDTV 13. Fletcher Oil Company is a member of the Women's Business Enterprise National Council. Dewey Hayes Jr., attorney at law, selected to the top 100 trial lawyers in the state of Georgia. If you want your pizza fixed just right, chances are you'll go to Danny's. If you're celebrating a birthday, Holtz is probably fixing the cake you'll put the candles on. And if your wedding ring needs an adjustment, you'll find yourself at Crawford Jewelers. But if it's you who needs fixing, it should definitely happen here. Coffee Regional Medical Center in Douglas, Georgia. We fix things better here. Study the unique ecology of our region and prepare yourself for an exciting career. South Georgia State College now offers a Bachelor of Science degree in Biological Sciences. Select the Nature and Ecology track to prepare yourself for a fulfilling career in a variety of fields. Or take the Pre-Professional track to lay the groundwork for further studies in medicine, pharmacology, and other health fields. Learn more online at sgsc.edu. South Georgia State College. You matter here. Our next item is to have the second reading of the GMA retirement plan revision. Uh, our city attorney will bring that forward, please. Be it ordained by the Mayor and Board Commission of the City of Douglas, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof, technical correction to clarify that the auto aid terminated vested benefit.